Hi guys, how you doing? Today is Wednesday, March 6th and my hair is driving me crazy. I'm getting it cut in a couple days. Um, anyway, my bedroom is done. It's finished. It's clean. It's dusted. It feels really good to finally have it done. It took me over two weeks. You will see why in the very beginning of the video. So check it out. All right, so we're in my bedroom. This is the mess at the foot of the bed I was telling you about. And I have a pile of clothes that I haven't bothered to put away because um, I'm going to be digging in the closet anyway. I have a bureau there around the corner. This chair makes me crazy. Those are winter coats that my husband and I keep arguing over. Um, I'll hang them in the closet. He'll lay them there. I'll hang them in the closet. He'll lay them there. So <laughs> they're still there. Um, and that big old hat on the chair. My God, he bought that last summer and he wears it in public. Um... God help me. Anyway, so, and then this is um, his bureau here, and we have all our Disney pictures on this rack thing from Ikea, and I would actually like to hang them up, because we have nothing on that wall, and it makes me crazy, and over there I have the um, picture that my good friend Stacy gave me with Mickey and Minnie. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start to empty my closet. Here's my closet, here's all my husband's ties. And this is the beast. This is my closet. Those are my things on that side. I used to have them tidy and I've given up recently. And then there's the clothes hanging on the side. Oh my God, this is like a disaster. I can't believe I'm showing this to people. Um, and then his clothes, it's his dress shirts and his Bermuda shorts. There's all his Bermuda shorts that he wears. Um, those are hanging up. This is a jewelry thing. This I saw on Pinterest. You take shower rings and you hang your scarves, but there's not enough scarves, so it's all tilted. Anyway, so I am going to take everything, and I mean everything, out of this closet. Um, help me. All right, the shelves on my side <laughs> are empty, and now... This is what has become of my bedroom. <laughs> oh my god, my husband's gonna kill me. Um, the piles of clothes on the bed, those are pretty much all my clothes except for my fancy things. And I am going through all of this. I want to cut this down to at least half, if not a quarter, because really, I don't wear all this. And it's pointless to have it all if I don't wear it or if it doesn't fit right or if I don't feel good in it because what is the point in owning stuff that you don't want to wear there's no point and someone else can get use out of it if I donate it um wow okay so now I'm going to wipe down those shelves and what I think I might do is put some shoe shelves shelves up top maybe and maybe put my shoes up there not totally sure what I'm doing with that yet everything else is still hanging here okay this hanger is driving me crazy Everything else is still hanging um, in there. It's all my husband's work stuff. I'm not taking that out. He has a system. It's good. But what I'm just going to do is get him to go through the stuff that's hanging there and what he wants and what he doesn't want. My dressy things are down at the end. Again, I just have to go through that. And then he just has some like t-shirts and stuff up top that just need to be gone through. So anyway, all right. I, uh, I'll be back. Okay, who else amongst us thinks that looks very wonky up there? <laughs> I don't know if I should do the shelf thing. I don't know. You know what, if I pare down my clothes enough, maybe I don't need the shelf. Or maybe it can go on this shelf here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it just looks weird up there. Okay, <laughs> and I don't want it to fall on someone's head. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. It's the next day. <laughs> oh, what a night. Okay, all the clothes are off my bed. You can see that they've been put back in my closet. <laughs> my husband had to do that last night. I came down with the flu. Oh my god, I was so sick. and I'm still really dizzy right now. <laughs> um, those blankets over there on the end of the bed. Oh my god, he found those on the in the pile of stuff here on the floor <laughs> he found those for me and covered me up oh my god it just 
it came on around supper time. I was supposed to go to a movie with my friend, and about 20 minutes before we had to leave, I just got really sick. And, okay, TMI. <laughs> I'll just stop talking. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was something I ate yesterday or what. It almost, it was like a food poisoning kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it was. Anyway, so needless to say, none of this got done. My big feat for today was making the bed. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get any further with this than that. Um, uh, my kids drove this, uh, my kids drove, <laughs> my husband drove the kids to school this morning. So that was very helpful. Oh my God. I, um, I think today is going to be our day of rest. Here's my shoes. That's as far as I got yesterday. Um, and again, like I said, the poor guy, <laughs> cause I actually, I was so sick. I crawled in bed with the clothes on the bed. I was like, someone just shoot me. <laughs> I felt so sick. Um, anyway, so he had to take all the clothes off. Um, I might tackle some later, but I've got to go lay back down. So yeah, uh, life continues. <laughs> um, even, uh, even when you get sick. So I'm going to go lay down for a little bit and see if I can tackle some of this, um, in a little while. Okay. Okay, sick or not, I gotta work on this room. I'm not pulling everything back out onto the bed because, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed early <laughs> tonight. Um, so I don't want to have everything on the bed, and I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Uh, because I still feel kind of gross. Oh. Alright, so we're into the end of... I don't know, the other week, <laughs> two weeks ago, I have no idea. Um, I've just done this, I've pulled my bed out from the wall, and I've just been dusting back here. Uh, yeah, that was gross. I had some big pictures under the bed, which I have since moved out into the hallway because I don't really know what I'm doing, but they are so dusty. So I have to deal with those. Um, I just wanted to show you this. If you have... A nightstand like I do that's kind of tiny this is how um, I get around that I bought a pole lamp and it just stands in behind the bureau so then you're not taking up any space on your um, not bureau night table um, you're not taking up any space for your lamp oh my god look how dusty that is I consider myself a fairly clean person and this is just disgusting how much dust is in here so I've got the bed pulled out and cleaning behind here, I've got a couple mirrors that used to be in my daughter's room that I have to uh, find a home for. And I just finished cleaning the f ceiling fans, so that's why there's paper, paper towel everywhere. Um, yeah, the dusting, fun stuff. I've got my duvet in the washing machine. I don't know if you're supposed to put those in the washing machine, but I did. I'm going to hang it out on the line because it's a nice windy day. And, um, and then next I have to take the curtains off the shears and um, wash all those and wash the blinds. Today is supposed to be a whole house um, uh, housework day, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. I think it's just going to be all about the bedroom today. So, <laughs> back to work. Alright, I'm still working. This is the top of my bureau here, and I've just taken it off because this particular one has a glass top um, surface, and sometimes dust and dirt and lint and stuff gets trapped underneath. So I'm just going to take this off, give it a good clean, put it back on, and then uh, screw it in place. All right. All right, so the glass is clean and back on. Jeez, when I went to first take that apart, I didn't realize that the mirror was attached to the drawers on top there. <laughs> Almost lost the whole thing off the back, but anyway, I saved it. And I just have that all tidied up now. Over here, I think the um, paper towel roll really sets off the Windex bottle. I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> I have Willow Tree Angels, but they're all out in the garage because I had had them. Uh, where did I have them? I don't think I had them anywhere. No, I did have them in the um, craft room at one point, and then I took them down, had nowhere for those to go, so they're out in the garage. Um, so those are going to come in. I did have something hanging here before. And the nail is still stuck in the wall. But anyway, um, my husband bought me this 
but it's two little boys, but it's when we first had the girls, and um, they didn't make a girl version of that, so he bought the boy version. And what else? Um, yeah, so I just have some trinkety things on here. And, oh, I just wanted to show you this. I think this is so cute. This, I painted this when we lived in Florida. But look what I have in here. They're little birds. And there's two baby birds. I was on um, a flight one time. I was flying, I think, from Florida to um, Canada with the kids. And there was an Asian lady next to me, and the airline didn't have any more blankets left. So I gave her my sweatshirt to cover up in. She was absolutely freezing. So then she's like, oh, thank you so much. And she covered up. And at the end, um, she had folded up my sweatshirt and handed it back to me. And she just had it on her legs to keep warm. So she was sitting there, and she was doing something with paper the whole time. And at the end, she wanted to thank you. Or she wanted to thank me for um, my uh, the use of my sweatshirt. So she made this. And she said it was me and my two daughters, my, my two little girls. I thought that was really sweet, so I've always held on to that. And then, oh, this was this was a piece of firework that kind of hit us in the crowd <laughs> at Disney. I was at um, a special fireworks thing. Um, oh, and this is a chocolate from our first Disney cruise. I will not eat it because that's kind of gross. It's pretty old, but I just don't want to throw it out. But anyway, I just thought the little birds were kind of cute. Oh my god, the paper towel is just following me around. Anyway, so that uh, area is all done and clean. My comforter is out there on the line, hopefully drying. And um, yeah, so the curtains are off. My drawer is back together. I just have the one book that I'm reading. Um, it's a library book. They have these fascinating places where they loan you books and then you take them back. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I have a few books that I need to read and get through. Um, but after that... That's all I'm doing is library because I have no money to buy books. I have no place to store books. And really, what do you do when it's done? I'm not, I don't collect them. There's a couple that I have kept, um, like Harry Potter and stuff. But other than that, like really, why do I need the books? Um, okay, so then the blinds are off the windows. I have to clean the windows. I have no more Windex. I've got to run to the store and get some Windex. And um, yeah, and then I got to go get the comforter. Oh, the curtains are clean. I could go get those and put those back on. All right, I'll go do that. All right, I'm back from the store. Got my new bottle of Windex. Check it out. Where is it? $7.11 for Windex. Yeah, I crumpled it and I was like, no, you know what? I gotta show you guys. $7.11 to clean my windows. They better shine, that's all I'm saying. All right, we're in my room. It's done, it's finished, it's clean. Um, so my nightstand over here is all clear of books. I just have my one library book on top there. And we actually found um, another cord for the iPad. So I just have another charger there. It's, they make the cords really short. So, and the other plug is behind the bed and it definitely won't reach. So I can just plug my iPad in there at night. Um, the bed, I had pulled everything out and dusted underneath and behind. I don't have anything under the bed right now. The only, actually, I do have some, um, three long mirrors from Ikea that I just don't want them to get broken, so I'm just leaving them under there. But now I can at least dust under the bed. The chair is cleared off, um, except for the cozy pillows. And my husband's dress shirt, he ordered some shirts from Jose Bank and they sent them in two separate packages. There was no need for that. So we had to pay $35 for each package um, for shipping. So we were up 70 bucks. And then one of the shirts, this one here, had a hole in the middle of it. So um, my husband's working on, you know, seeing if they can send him another shirt and that'll be another $35. So $105 later, he'll have some new shirts. Um, so his bureau is all done. And I moved in this um, picture. Uh, we had this out in the hallway. We bought this um, on our last visit to um, Magic Kingdom. We just wanted a memory of Disney because it was huge in our lives for those um, three years that we lived there. Those are all our Disney pictures in front of everything. Um, just a fun tradition. We started um, with the four four of us standing in front of the castle and in front of the hat 
and in front of the animal kingdom tree and all that. And then every time we go back, we, um, we do the same pose in front of the castle and everything. Uh, the curtains were all washed. My lady here, I spray painted her again. So she's all nice and fresh and new. Um, this is waiting to go into my bathroom. This is my little cruise ship bathroom right there. So I'm going to be organizing that soon along with the kids bathroom. And this shelf is waiting for the rest of my angels. I have them in a box out in the garage because when I took them down and rearranged my craft room, I didn't know where else for them. I didn't have any other place for them to go. So they ended up out in the garage. So I had to bring those in and I'll put those there. And my drawers are all organized. That bag is full of makeup bags and Bath and Body Works stuff. So that is waiting to find its way into the bathroom. And now the closet. Here is my closet. Now, what I want to say about the closet is it's much neater than it was. Um, everything is folded and I've been very good at putting everything back, but I still have a lot of stuff. Um, this closet just took me, or this whole room took me over two weeks and I was just getting done with everything. So I just wanted to get everything back and clean. So that was my goal with this. Um, so now the next thing I have to do is actually go through and purge. I didn't really purge um, too many clothes. I have to. I'm almost, it's like I want to wait for summer to happen and then I'll see, you know, what I really wore throughout the winter. Well, I could probably get rid of that now. Um, and then see what I'm going to be interested in wearing in the summer. But I really just have to go through stuff and get rid of it. But everything is tidy. My dress clothes are back there in the garment bags. That's working out really well. And then as for up there, just my husband's sweaters and sweatshirts. We have some extra blankets in the back. That's my old, wow, that's like a lot old. I think that was my first video camera, but I have all the tapes from the kids, um, all their baby stuff, and I want to convert all those to DVD, so I have to keep the old camera. Um, it's the ones with the, like, the tapes that went in it. And then my scrapbook bags, my sweatshirts, just some memory t-shirts that I have. Uh, what do you guys do with those kind of things? Like, do you keep the t-shirts because you had it for a special occasion. I don't know what to do about that. These blue ones here, we did a cruise with my mom um, in 2009, so I don't want to get rid of those. We all had matching t-shirts and it was fun, so I don't want to get rid of it. Um, I have my hats. I have tank tops and casual shirts and dress shirts and t-shirts. And then my sweaters down here is just all my shoes um, that I wear mostly in the summer. Um, if we're going out somewhere and then my kids dollhouse uh, dollhouse boxes I've got my wedding dress stuff back there and a bin at the back, which is the kids um, baby stuff uh, Extra baby stuff that was left over. I've got a stool so I can reach things those sheets um, The kit they're the top sheets for my kids beds and they just don't want to use them and they're brand new, so I don't want to throw them out, but they just use their duvets. And then in that bag, that's a present that I cannot discuss yet, because I have to give it to somebody. Um, and then my husband's ties and my house coat. I just leave my house coat on there, because I can find it in the dark when I get up early. <laughs> so, and then our high-tech lighting system here with the string. So, yes, the room is done. It feels good. Oh, these are... Remember I told you about the Riba frames, and I had the kids... Um, baby outfits in them. These are the smaller ones. I used them for my Disney pins. My friend Krista gave me this idea. So those are all the Disney pins that I had collected. And I've done a memory frame um, with my mom's picture in it and I've done it um, the same frame to hold my book. Here I'll go show you those. All right we're in my dining room which is well it's part of my living room and it's um, that's not very far. This is the yellow cabinet that you always see in the background. Um, so I just have, it's a linen cabinet. It's the Hemnes series. Um, it's the same as my bedroom furniture, but this is supposed to be a linen cabinet and I just keep dishes in it. And then up top here I have, um, oh I do this. I don't know if you guys have the, the switch for your lights, but I just keep it for this because it's got one of those flicky cords and it's down in behind the bureau. So I just keep this on top. It's just easier. 
Here's the other frame. I did a video about this on my craft channel and um, that's my mom and this was the program that we had in the church that day. So that's my mom. So I did this memory frame and this is a sunflower that I took from her grave that day. Those were angel pins that people had given her in the hospital and my girls wore them on their dresses that day and then that carnation was the the last flower that I had picked from um, her grave before we moved here to Bermuda. And this is my Ike Ikea clock that um, ticks very loudly. <laughs> so I just leave it here set to 2 o'clock. My mom passed away at 2 o'clock. And um, she had given me this um, willow tree angel and it's called Thinking of You. So I just keep that there. And then my other frame, I'll show you that. This one is right next to my computer, and that is my children's book that I wrote and illustrated, Squirrel's Peanut Allergy. I do have an extra frame. I'm going to hold off and use that for my next book that I'm working on. Um, or I actually have some Disney pins that I, I still need to, um, you know, do. But the thing is, I, I had the black fabric to go in the frame. <laughs> I actually used it and made something the other week out of the black material, so I may have to change the material in the background of all the frames for the Disney pins. Anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching. All right, so that was my bedroom. It feels good to finally have that done. It took me over two weeks to get that room done. I mean, I was sick for that first week, so that didn't really count. But um, as you see in my closet, I still have a lot of things. I still have a lot of clothes. And I really would like to still pare that down um, and just be really honest with myself of what I wear, what feels comfortable, um, and the rest can go. I mean, I can donate it. Someone would, you know, probably like to have uh, whatever I'm getting rid of. I don't know. Um, but I think what happened was that room just took so long to do. And I just got to a point where I just got frustrated. I was like, oh, forget it. Just put everything back. Um, I did fill two garbage bags. I got one of rid of one garbage bag that was just garbage, just old things and stuff that was stained or, you know, old socks, um, stuff like that. And then the other one was for donating, but I have to do that again. And I really have to do that with every room in this house. Um, not that I'm going to be a week at a time in each room, but cause I already did that. And that was like organizing and cleaning and ripping the blinds down and the curtains down and, and cleaning all that stuff. But now I just have to go back with a garbage bag and go through each room. And especially now where I've touched every item in every room, I know where stuff is. Um, I just have to go through and just really purge some stuff because it's boggling. Like I have, okay, well, my Ikea catalogs are here. And I brought those out actually because I just wanted to tell you about the furniture in my room. It's called Hemnes, H-E-M-N-E-S, in case you're interested, interested. And that yellow cabinet is that same um, brand. Uh, the other thing I didn't show you in my room was my drawers, which people down here call it a draw. Draw. In your draw. It's D-R-A-W-E-R, -E drawer. Maybe I don't say it properly, but it's a drawer. Um, yeah, there's like a bedroom draw for sale on Emu. Um, anyway, in my underwear drawer, which I'm not going to show you because you don't need to see my underwear. That's creepy. Okay, so I have these. They're like little polyester containers that you can put in. Um, they sell them flat at Ikea and you just open it up and there's like a zipper that goes across, but you get six, um, you get a set of six. They're $11.99. These are Canadian prices. This is the 2012 catalog for Ikea and it's called Scub, S-K-U-B-B. -B. Um, they're little storage, storage cases. Uh, they're polyester and polypropylene plastic. Say that three times. Um, anyway, they're really good. I have a set of black ones and I keep my socks folded up and my underwear folded up. And so those are all in my top drawer. My second drawer is pajamas and my bottom drawer is bathing suits. And I actually have this thing from Ikea. It's like, it's sort of like a basket, but it's made of this cream material. that's really thick. It's almost rough, 
Um, but it looks like it's crocheted, uh, really weird, but it has nine or 12 different compartments. So I just have my bathing suits all in those compartments. Um, so yeah, so that's my drawers. My husband has just t-shirt and shorts and stuff underwear, knee socks. They actually do wear the knee socks here in Bermuda. <laughs> um, he wears knee socks and then the Bermuda shorts. And it's really funny because you get so used to seeing that, that then when you see a man in a suit with like full pants on, it's, it just looks really weird. Um, so yeah. Um, so that was our drawers. I have to do the bathrooms next. Um, my bathroom, there's not a lot involved, um, there. Uh, it just has to be tidied. And then my kids' bathroom, their bathroom is bigger, and there's a big storage cabinet in there, which is great. One thing that did not work from my kitchen was having my paper towel at the bottom of the pantry, um, because when I rearranged my youngest daughter's room, she had these big containers with Lego. So I took the Lego out, put it in these bins, the containers ended up in the bottom of my, bottom of my pantry, and then the paper towel didn't fit. So paper towel is now back in the bathroom. And then, so I have a big storage area for uh, toilet paper and paper towel. And then up above, I have a bunch of shelves um, for all our products, like shampoo and all that kind of stuff. So what I need to do is I'm going to do my bathroom first. And I have that bag in front of my bureau with all the um, makeup bags. And I have some uh, Bath and Body Works products that I brought that I bought at Christmas that need to go in the main bathroom cabinet. So stuff like that. And then my kids, I just need them to go through their stuff. They have so many hair things and bath and body works. I mean, you cannot walk in that bathroom in the morning. They've got scents and oh God, I'm not big on scent. Like I don't like smelly things. So whew, I mean, they've got mystic wind. I don't even know what the things are called. I don't know, but they have all these Bath and Body Works products, um, and then they've convinced me to buy some, so I have a few different hand creams and stuff. That's really all I'll buy. The only, um, like, perfume that I'll wear is the va Vanilla Body Mist from the Body Shop. <laughs> That's about it. It's the only thing I can handle. I don't like, I hate walking through a perfume department in a, in a department store. It just, uh, I don't know how people work there all day. Anyway, so I have to go through their stuff and I really need their help in there. And um, I just have to organize it a little bit better. They have these drawers that are, they're a mess. And my youngest one has this big medicine cabinet. My oldest one has more products and she's got the smaller cabinet. So, but my younger one doesn't want to give up the bigger cabinet, even though she doesn't have any. I don't know. We got, we got to come up with a plan. Maybe she could have the drawers because she could reach them. Because right now, as it is, she has to jump up on the, <laughs> the bathroom cabinet to reach her cupboards. That's what I'm going to do. The oldest one might get the two cupboards, and then the other one can have the drawers. I don't like that idea. I have to convince them that they like that idea. All right, so I'm going to go now, because speaking of them, I have to go get them at school. So this is my bedroom video. It's done. I hope you enjoyed it. Bathroom videos are coming next week. I got to take a break. I'm just going to ride out the rest of this week and the weekend, and then I will tackle um, the bathrooms next week. I actually might tackle the kids' bathroom on the weekend when they're off, and they can help me go through things. And then again, I'm going to go through the house and purge because I didn't really do that. I cleaned and I did get rid of some things, but not enough. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I will be back soon with videos. Again, I keep updating with my exercise. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. See ya.